What's up guys, War here, and today I wanted to take a look at the Inna's Monk build uh, in the PTR for Season 27. Uh, I call, I'm calling it Inna Weaker, so nothing has really changed about the build except for the fact that the waved, your mystic allies have decreased from 3,000% damage per ally to 900% damage. It's a pretty big nerf. That's the only thing that's really changed about the build, but I wanted to go in and just kind of show you guys... Um, like how much weaker the build is and kind of the way that the Inna's Monk will be played in Season 27, or at least I think. All right, guys, let's try it. Let's try a 90 real quick just to see how strong the build can actually be uh, going in. So you guys can see I have like very basic gear. I've kind of re-rolled things just to have like the ideal stats that you would need for the build. And then all my gems are ranked 25, as you can see here. Nothing special about the build. No Ancients, no Augments, low power paragon at only 642 we're gonna do a gr 90 and just kind of see but the fact that you know having each ally reduced by 2100 percent is pretty insane so we're gonna get in and try this and see what happens let's go i think i think this build going forward is gonna be just a really strong you know t16 build i think you're gonna have fun and still be able to you know push some grs but with the wave of light monk that's going to be dominating i'll link the video above i did on that one guys but that build is just going to be too strong so for higher pushing grs the wave of light monk is definitely going to be the one that you're going to want to play although the play style for that monk is you know it's a bit clunky in a way um and is not as smooth or flows as good as the in you know the in his monk but that's okay that's okay. We're not really, you know, we're just all about pushing. But the Inna's Monk speed, like even, like you see it here, guys. We're on a GR90, which is probably like the the GR that you're going to be wanting to farm with this build. It's, you know, it, it's doing okay. And I have very, like, low gear, not good gear. You know, I'm low Paragon, and I don't really have any, you know, crazy stat rolls or i don't have augments i don't have ancient gear so you know the build is still like destroying which is great i wonder if the devs will buff it back just a little bit i know they wanted to say that the the nerf to inna's was necessary you know because it's been dominating for three seasons which is crazy but um it changes up the meta which i really like but maybe maybe not that much of a nerf you know what i'm saying that nerf is kind of kind of crazy, if you ask me. Let's get away from that arcane, and I just died. I couldn't get away from the arcane, man. Couldn't do it. That's bad for the build. I'm a bad monk player. I'm a bad monk player, guys. But as you can see, like the build is still strong. The playstyle hasn't changed for this build at all. This is the only real change coming with season 27 for the monk. So I wanted to showcase this to you guys and just, just to show you like how strong the build could be. And again, I'm not even using a follower right now. I don't have the follower buff. You know, we're still clearing the GR decently fast. You know, we're not we're not getting the extra champions from the pylons because I'm not running my follower. But just to see how strong the build could be still going into Season 27. You know, I mean, I'm thinking like maybe instead of 21, 100%, they... They put put this to like each each monk deals you know twelve hundred percent damage or each you know ally deals twelve hundred percent damage instead of nine hundred like that would be a little bit more reasonable because I think the nerf is just too much. But then again, you know they want to open it up so there's more there's more builds that are being played, which is great. You just need to fly through this. All right, Rift Guardian, where you at? And as you can see, it's still a pretty strong Rift Guardian killer. Um, it's great. We we finished that in like three minutes because we died. You know what I mean? But all right. So as you can see, we we finished that in three minutes and fourteen seconds. It would have been a little bit quicker if I would have died and zoomed around. But even a GR ninety with you know very basic gear, you know not a lot of Paragon levels. And, you know, farming up those items and just, like, all your levels and stuff. Like, the build is still pretty strong. The build is still fairly strong. 
It's just the nerf was just too much in my opinion. I hope that they change it back to like 1,200% damage. I think that would be great. I think it would knock it down about five tiers instead of seven, which would be crazy, or eight. Um, but the build is still really strong. This build dominated for so long. So the build is still really strong, guys. But you know that in his build, nothing's really changed. The set pieces along with Frostburn and then Crudus Boots. Uh, and then the Ogdul set is really good. Focus and Restraint along with Squirt's Necklace. Very strong. And then your gems are Bane of the Trap, Bane of the Powerful, and then Enforcer for the Pets. Ingium, Binder of the Lessing Gods, and Ring of Royal Grandeur in the cube. And then you guys know all the abilities. Of course, Mystic Ally, Water Ally, Epiphany, Desert Shroud, Serenity, Ascension, Dashing Strike, Blinding Speed, Cyclone Strike, Implosion, and then Wave of Fist, Blazing Fist for attack speed. Seize the Initiative, Beacon of Atar, Relentless Assault, and then I'm using Unity for more damage because of the nerf that happened with... The mystic allies so i wanted to test this build and showcase it to you guys just to kind of see how strong it could be it's not going to be able to push the higher tiers like it did last season that's where lod wave of light monk is going to be coming in but the build is still really cool and it's still really strong i think if you're going to use if you're a monk player and you're going to be farming you know at least gr 90s and then possibly like just doing t16 stuff it's going to be super strong if you wanted to change the t16 you do this and then you throw the gloves on and you do it that way. Um, and then you just farm T16 and then you change NGM out for, uh, what is it? Uh, Flying Dragon for attack speed. But yeah, that's the build, guys. That's the that's the monk. It's still pretty strong. So uh, I just wanted to bring this video to you guys just um, before the update. We're patiently waiting for the patch um, to hit for the PTR. But this build is still super strong. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a Monk player, let me know what you think about playing in us in the season 27. Uh, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, guys. We're pumping out loads of content. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.